Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I have got a really delicious cookie recipe to share with you today. But before I get into that, I just wanted to mention that this video is a part of an open collab hosted by Tiffany and her channel is Small Town 6 and I will have a link to her channel along with the playlist down in the description box below. And in that playlist, you are going to find a bunch of different pumpkin recipes. So definitely take a look. You don't want to miss out on that. Thanks to Tiffany once again for hosting this collab. If you have not checked her out, you definitely should. She shares some like uh, lots of like what's for dinners and grocery hauls and just lifestyle kind of content. So I think you would really enjoy her. And yeah, let's get into this recipe. We are making some pumpkin sugar cookies. All right, well, I forgot to, <laughs> to start recording. First off, I need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This is a half of a cup uh, measuring is what I'm using here. So two cups and the half. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon or so, kind of made a mess with that, of cinnamon. And then we're just going to whisk this together and then set this aside and get onto the wet ingredients. All right, so now we want to cream together our butter and sugar. We're going to do, it's uh, 14 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mine is kind of a mess. It was very chilly this morning when I first took everything out and I needed this room temperature. So I put on my oven quite a while ago and set these on top to soften. And they did, but it actually took quite a while. Um, and then I, so then I forgot about it. So now I've kind of got a sloppy mess, but it's softened. So that's what we were going for. All right, so 14 tablespoons of unsalted butter that has been softened. And then one and a half cups of sugar and we're going to mix this together. I'm just gonna use my hand mixer. All right, now we're going to mix in one egg yolk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a half a cup of pumpkin puree. This is pulled out from the freezer. I had to uh, defrost that. And now we're just going to mix this until it's combined. And now we're just going to slowly add in the dry ingredients, mixing it in a little bit at a time until that is fully combined. Just make sure that you scrape down the sides as you go to get all of that flour mixture mixed in. And now we're going to refrigerate our cookie dough for 20 minutes. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes and we're, the recipe, let's see, it says to roll, bo huh? roll dough into one inch size balls. So I'm just using my smaller cookie scoop. And then we're going to roll in some sugar. So I've got a bowl here with some some sugar. I am tongue tied. And then place on a lined baking sheet, either with parchment paper or a silicone mat. I'm going to use silicone mat for this tray. And then I've got a parchment paper lined one for the next batch. And then press down slightly. I don't know how slightly, but we're going to do it like that and make sure that they are about two inches apart. And then you're going to bake for 15 minutes, rotating the pan halfway uh, halfway through the baking time. So I'll probably do like set the timer for seven minutes and then do another eight minutes once I've rotated the pan. I'm only going to put one pan in at a time because, I don't know, I think that it helps make sure that they cook more evenly. Sometimes that can change when you've got um, two pans in there. So we're just going to do one at a time. I don't know what this batter, these cookies are going to do. So I'm going to make sure to spread them out a good amount and not overcrowd the pan. And then I'll know for the next round. All right. So I sprinkled a little bit of sugar on top of each one as well. And I'm going to also sprinkle on some pumpkin spice. That's not in the recipe, but I just want to. It'll be pretty and it'll add a little extra something to it as well. All right, let's get these in the oven. All right, we are halfway in between. Here in seven minutes. We're gonna turn this around. Oh, they smell delicious. And set the timer for another eight. I'm also making myself some eggs. 
because I'm hungry. Um, and then we'll, then you're supposed to leave them on the pan, I think, for two minutes. Oops. See, I don't know how to set a timer when I'm on. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, you're supposed to let them sit on the pan when you take them out for two minutes before you take them off and put them onto a cooling rack. All right, so I took them out of the oven and let them cool for two minutes, like the direction said. And now I've got them on the cooling rack to finish cooling, and I'll give them a taste test in just a minute. All right, here we have them. They look delicious. Let's see if they taste delicious. All right, can you see that? So good, very, I mean, it's like perfect. I like it. Um, I'm eating them slightly warm, They're crisp, a little bit crispy on the outside, perfect on the inside. My husband, I think it's going to love these. So I definitely recommend this recipe. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really does help me out. And if you are new here because of this uh, collab or for any other reason. I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do like to share recipes with you along with some other lifestyle content. So please consider subscribing before you leave. And I'm going to have another pumpkin recipe linked here for you to check out as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.